Well, before we jump into all that you do with your business, you were drafted, uh, I believe, in the second round by the Packers, and it wasn't a long football career uh, due to injury like you mentioned, but tell me about the way you kind of approached your successes and also your struggles on the football field, and then whether or not the way you approached that and that mentality kind of helped you transition into business. Yeah, it helped me for sure. I think the the biggest struggle with, with, with that student athletes is, in my opinion, they should be called student employees. Um, when you look at the revenue that we create for universities, I'm grateful that now they have some a way to to benefit. And then people are like, well, you're not grateful for the education you got. I'm very grateful for the education I got, which is why now I, I'm a donor in the 12th man. I'm a part of the athletic council and I give back to my university. So I'm not saying that that's not valuable. What I'm saying is we're employees, man. We work 70 hours a week or more. It's crazy. And to not have a way to, because we don't really have a college experience. That's what people don't understand. We don't get to do what college kids do. We go to school year round. So spring, summer, and fall, and you're in full hours. It's not like you're taking a couple of hours and hanging out. We always have to be in class from eight to 12 because we're in the weight room. We got to be at the facility from like one and we don't get home to maybe 10 at night. You know, so between training, studying, shower, film room, weight room, it's a full time job. So I'm saying all that to say I'm grateful that there are some things that are changing about the landscape of college football and just all athletics, because I think the ladies deserve it, too. But, um, yeah, I would say as you think about that transition from being an athlete to an entrepreneur, there's a lot of things that I learned at an early age, like time blocking, because you cannot be a great athlete at a, at a university like Texas a and unless you understand time blocking. You can't be a team captain unless you understand how to lead different types of personalities. And you can't grow a brand unless you understand how to speak to lots of people, because you, you I mean, like on autograph day, dude, there's 70,000 people in there trying to get your autograph. So it's just things like that that really taught me. And when I translated that to an entrepreneur, it really helped me. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict. Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit.